Some younger kids getting a chance to do this as well. Maybe not the best view Lexi Lepoff, but hopefully still a good lesson for these students. Yeah, Ted, today I joined the students at Webb School of Knoxville. The high school level students went outside together to try and catch the eclipse. Take a look. Oh, shit! Oh, my God, it's an eclipse! Oh, I see it! Oh, oh yeah! Jesus. Oh, I see it! That clip is from the very short time that the sun peeked through the clouds and the students were able to see the eclipse. I talked with the president of the school and he says they extended the school day so all the students and faculty could experience this moment together. We've all got our protective eyewear on and, and actually we're able to see uh, part of the eclipse just a moment ago. So we're excited to do this not only as a learning opportunity, but do it together as a whole community. It was pretty cool. I mean, you could totally see the moon in front of the sun. Uh, yeah, the clouds kind of covered it for most of the part, but the little glimpse that, I, glimpse that I saw was pretty cool. Yeah, all the grade levels had some of that eclipse fun. I joined a second grade classroom too, and the students learned a lesson on what causes a school a solar eclipse. And think about it, those second grade kids will be nearing 30 years old the next time there's a total eclipse visible in the U.S. So that's why the teachers told me it was a great day to make the most of the opportunity. Yeah, we have maybe the street lights go on over here in West Knoxville. A little bit, right? Yeah. A little change. But still pretty cool to make the most of that for those kids. They'll remember it for sure, Lexi. Thanks. What is it?